Ooh we, ooh we. And we back, we back. Let me make sure. And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back, and we back. I always cut you off because of the last year away from saying you're right, you're right, you're right. Child, excuse me if my eyes are red. I'm going to hang on. I hate that. Like, after I thought I scratched my eyes, I'm going to get red as mug. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? We just finished doing our, uh, we just finished doing our car, not car, I'm about to say car reading. We just finished doing bingo. We just finished doing bingo. And I got some Q&As, y'all. I got time for some Q&As. I actually want to talk about some holistic stuff because them, uh, them, what you call it, them doggone bingo cards and all that stuff that that took it out of me for a second that's my first time doing that it was a lot I'm not even gonna lie to y'all it was a lot for me but um yeah any que- any holistic questions y'all have feel free to ask any personal questions fitness questions y'all have feel free to ask if y'all want to go live with me hit the um the multi uh guest button at the bottom and then same house rules as before you know make sure that y'all not on no ignorant stuff make sure that you're not on here talking crazy no bigoted stuff but we could talk about anything i got roughly like 15 30 minutes i said i was gonna get off at like 8 45 9 o'clock but them cards make me feel like i need to you know change change the title too because the message is still about scratches i don't know why i did that i did change it let me see live intro i'm gonna just do this Ooh, child. I'm telling you, I'll be feeling like an old man sometimes with TikTok. Bye, y'all. I changed it again. Oh, we got a multi. We got a requesting. Oh, it's Ava. Child, Ava about to give me life. I know it because I need it right now. Child, Ava about to give me life. I know it because I need it right now. Ava. Ava. Um, it didn't give me the thing to start my camera. Go to the, uh, even in the settings, this last time. You got to go to your multi-guest uh, thing and then go to settings, I believe. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, you know what you're talking about. Child, them, them cards took it out of me. I ain't even going to lie to you. I don't know how old folks be having the time for that ball. <laughs> Jesus. That's going to them difficult scratches. I right, look first buy of all, ones that are less difficult. Chelsea has Chelsea gave me the idea. They're like, cool. That's gonna be this. She showed me some lives. Mm, like, oh, you gotta get this. some five dollar scratches. <laughs> five dollars. Yeah. Who who spending five dollars on something they don't do? How much I pay for them bingo scratches? Like a dollar to three dollars at the oh. most. Oh, you buying a um? That's why you was winning free tickets. I'm confused. I don't know how this stuff works. I ain't never played none of them cards, nothing like that day in my life. If you win a free ticket, you get a shot at another one. So I would suggest getting a better ticket. Child, I, ain't, I don't know nothing about that. That was probably my last ticket. That stuff was draining. Yeah, because you got one that's hard and expensive. You just need one that's easy. Scratch off four things. You win or you lose. We gonna, we gonna see. We gonna see, sure. Okay, but I did really come on here for Q&A. I really did. I'm, I'm here for it. Bring it. And I need you to put your, because you probably going, I don't know, first at me or whatever, but I need you. Oh, to... my God. What did you do now? Okay. I did not do anything today. I behave. I was good today. Well, why would I be fussing at you? Okay. Because I'm going on vacation in July. July 8th through 10th, I'm going on vacation. Do you know where this conversation is going? I know where it's going, but continue. <laughs> And I'm going to San Antonio. Ooh, I love San Antonio. Okay, so we're going to see. We're going to the Maverick concert. What else? We're going to they're see. Y'all going to Maverick? Oh, y'all about to go turn up. So, but in my mind, I want to. In my mind. <laughs> in my mind, I want to go on vacation and ball out. Like, I just want to go on vacation and eat what I want to eat. And so, so who I was the Maverick vacation anyway. <laughs> They've been playing since Maverick dropped their tour. Like whenever oh, they first okay. um said they was going on tour, like the ticket sales went on sale at the times, like whatever the time zone it was. Like we were in line at that time. Like everybody in our group bought the tickets all together. Y'all going to see Maverick? I'm going to see Kendrick because look, Maverick ain't gonna get a dollar out of me. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm African. You're not about to get a doll out of me. Well, we I'm all feel like I'm at, I'm at rehearsal. Huh? We all love Maverick. So, and then Kirk yeah. Franklin going, oh, that boy's oh, all you right. You right. You right. You right. And they but, got but like, get, my other friend, like Jonathan Meg Reynolds. So, oh, okay. They gonna have some heavy hitters over there. I'm here for it. Okay. So, when I go on vacation, in my mind, when I go on vacation, it's dietary. Like, my diet is ball out, right? Like, I ain't never been to San Antonio. I'm probably not coming back never no been? time soon. No, but this is my first time going to San Antonio. It's a long drive, but it's, it's dope. It's a fun place. Uh, it don't matter. My husband drives. But, <laughs> I can't but y'all. in my mind, when you go on vacation, you can take a break. You can ball out. You can eat what you want to eat. Right? How now, long is this vacation for? Yes, ma'am. You found Kindle shoes? Did you find some pants to wear tomorrow? Okay. A real mother. <laughs> How long is your vacation? So it's from a Friday to a Sunday. So we're leaving Friday morning. We're coming back Sunday afternoon. Oh, I probably should have took off Monday, too. I might put in for the Monday, too. Okay, Dr. so <laughs> my question to you is... There, okay. Twofold though, okay, I know okay. that I don't necessarily need to go balls to the walls, but okay. So, my first thing is, what's the compromise? And my second thing is, because if I'm eating like cleaner or healthier, I don't want to just ball out on Friday and then now I'm sick for my whole trip. It, and and that's what I'm about to tell y'all was like, it defeats the purpose because if you gotta think about it, it's July. What, what, what part in July? Hmm. What, what day in July? The eighth. We today is the what? Today is the eighth. Today is the sixteenth, fifteenth. Yeah, fifteenth. You gonna be sick as a dog. <laughs> you gonna be throwing up at every concert. Oh my mama! Shout so out. my question is, can I? Can I introduce you something? To wean yourself off of it before the concert. Yeah, because I don't want to go and like not enjoy like. The last time we went to see Maverick, we went to Houston, but we went to the Breakfast Club, and I couldn't eat because I was just fasting in general. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I couldn't like eat while we were there, and I really don't want to be on vacation and be miserable or be making up meals. And which, granted, my travel day was good today. I found some a good option. Eight days. I like that's that that's from that chart you asked on me. Yes. Where is that? It's a place called Good People Kitchen in Alexandria. And honestly, hey, you wasn't Alexandria. I, was, I ain't driving all the way out there for that. Mm-mm. Yeah, I was not expecting it to be as. Hmm, I gotta need to clean my nose. I was not. I thought expect- you had a little nose ring thing. I, <laughs> I was not expecting it to be as good as it was, but it was actually good. Um, mm. I never thought about like roasting cabbage, but it was roasted cabbage, roasted broccoli, and grilled chicken. And the chicken was seasoned. The I'm almost positive that the cabbage had butter, but I'm not complaining about that. It was very good. I I'll tell you I'll tell you this if I can give you any any type of advice. I'm almost done with my detox, and then I'm going on a, I'm going on like a whole nother path after that. If a if a, a milligram of anything outside of what my body going to accept touches my tongue, I'm going to have a detox symptom so severe it's not going to make sense. Like you got you. You got at least a month, I want to say, until y'all concert. So this is my question. I'm pretty sure you can eat around it. You can, like, I feel like you can, because, I mean, I I do it a lot. Like, especially, like, whenever I was on tour, like, it's, like, prime example. We hit. So can I, this is my, the main question is, like, I'm going to do the 10-day detox. But can I wait until after vacation to do that? I mean, you're already on, like, a specific type of protocol right now. I mean, I'm on a protocol, but I don't feel like it's as restrictive as the detox. Now, here's the difference. With the detox, a lot of that stuff you can already have pre-made and just take it with you. I'm not doing it on vacation. Ah. I'm not that disciplined yet, and I honestly really don't want to be. Dude, you funny. I mean, look. I'm did, serious, did, because look, I enjoy I, I the experience of food. So, look, what's the compromise? the compromise? Because I don't want to be sick on vacation, but I do want to enjoy my vacation. 
Like I I love hamburgers. I love fried fish. Every day, in the words of the of the great was 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 Derek in the last name? Just say it. In the in the words of the great Derek, your choices have consequences. And not even consequences. Okay, but I, how can I have a less severe consequence? It it, it detox symptoms differ, uh, differentiate from uh body to body. I'll say this. It's because it now here's the here's the beautiful part. Or can like, I okay, I so since I'm going that Friday, can I start reintroducing some things on like <laughs> Monday? Sure. But I will say I will say this. I will say this. San Antonio has some of the best Hispanic food ever. And you can always do what's it called a la carte, I think it is. Like get you some just go heavy on your leafy greens. Go heavy on your vegetables because but see, if I'm gonna eat Hispanic food, I want cheese. I want beans. Oh, I want rice. Lord have mercy. You okay? At this, I point, love cheese. At at this point, I would that once that cheese is so hard to get out of the system, it takes cheese a while to get out of the system. Not mine. So if if I'm you go if you gonna do that if you gonna do that, I'll say this: you gotta you gotta you know what you know what. Go hard on your vacation, but when you get make me this promise, make me this promise. You could go hard on your vacation, but after that, I want a ten day detox, and I want a juice cleanse simultaneously back to back after that. You can okay, have. How you do can I, have. I, okay, I'm with all that because fine, but then like my birthday is on the twenty third, so no, nope, I don't care if I'm giving you if I'm giving you this if I'm giving you this. You gonna give me a ten day detox, and you gonna I do? I can promise you, you the ten day detox. I can promise you that. I can do the ten day detox after vacation. Because when our next follow up, our next follow up is is next Thursday, next Wednesday. Oh, with her camera. Gee, her camera always doing that. There you go. All right. No. Our follow up is next Wednesday, right? No, I got off. I got off the app on mistake. Uh, yeah. What oh, is like? It's horrible. Okay, if I our follow up is next Wednesday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you. God damn, what's going on? I'm, I'm no, I had turned you, my camera off to turn it back on. Okay, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a. Our next follow up, I'm gonna give you some very specific instructions for, um, for whenever you do your ten day after you get back from your concert. Because if you, if you say you can okay, only, so. if you say you can only promise me ten days of doing whatever you want to do, and then your birthday right after that. Cause I, cause I understand, even though I don't understand. I'm, a, I'm gonna try to understand. I mean, I think like for my birthday, I'm a little bit more. Okay, here's the thing though: is my birthday is the 23rd, my husband's birthday is the 24th. So, oh. and apparently he doesn't want to be in town. Um, he wants to go somewhere, but I'm willing to maybe like eat cleaner for my birthday because I mean, if I just went balled out in. San Antonio, and then I did a detox. Then I mean, like I'm not gonna want to mess that up for what day? What day are you on? Let's let, let's put this in, in in perspective. What day are you on on your protocol right now? I think you're on day like five. No, three. You're on day three. Three or five? I'm on no three. Yeah, you're on day three. three. So, I started Monday. So you're on day three, and you planning to pig out July seventh, right? No, the eighth. The eighth, Jesus. So you already on the vacation is from the eighth to the tenth. Exactly. You already on the protocol right now. Our follow up is next Wednesday, and we're gonna rev it up. So once you're gonna go on the rev up, and then you're gonna hit that little July section. It's imperative. <laughs> it is imperative that you like. I said you got that's that's your two choice. That's so only- why are we gonna rev it up if? It's gonna give me severe consequences on vacation. Because because you still gotta follow the protocol. But but why rev it up? Why not maintain it? Because I planned out your stuff for two months. I'm gonna have to. Re- I didn't even have to plan out all your stuff all over again. But I don't want to be sick on vacation. Is the main thing. You got a decision to make. I don't want to be sick on vacation. Okay. Let me see. Let me think. I, but I also I, don't want to be eating like a. I don't want to be a carnivore. I mean a, a herbivore. Sorry. 
I'll say this. I'll say this because you go you regardless of the fact you're gonna do what you want to do. So I'll say this. We'll keep for the sake of my memory, Jesus. We'll keep your level where is that until the until your concert. And then when you get back, like I said, your ultimatum is if you're gonna go this hard on your concert, your little trip, do all of that. I'm going to give you very specific instructions to somewhat shock your lymphatic system back to where it needs to be. Prepare yourself. That's all I'm going to say. Prepare yourself. I'm not doing mm-hmm. no great fans either. No, no, not at all. No. Um, I'm I update on that. Um, I feel like my body has like I was planning to go to a Sunday, but I feel like I need to stop soon because like I don't. There's nothing. I feel like there's nothing else my body can push out at all. So I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna give it to a Friday and see what else happens. But back to you. Um I got i yeah, I'm gonna have to restructure and recategorize your stuff when you get back. And I'm gonna have to flush your I'm gonna have to really target your liver. Like heavy, heavy. So matter of fact, did you what herbs do you have? Did you get all the other herbs I told you to get so far? Okay, here's the thing as well. I have not started taking herbs. Yet. <laughs> I have not. And I'm gonna tell you there's a very specific reason why I have not. One, I'm waiting for payday. But also, okay. two, I was fasting whenever you told me about that, and God told me not to take them yet. So um, That's what God said? Yes. Girl, you ain't listening to no doggone God. God wouldn't have told you that. <laughs> yes, he did. Hey, well, and not necessarily good. that, but um, I was praying about some other stuff. And, uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Okay, well... When your please let me know when your herbs come in so we can get that situated. I will. Shaq, exactly, Shaq. Jesus, Jesus be a fence. Oh, you are hilarious. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run with that. I could I could I'm literally remaking your stuff in my head as we speak because I was targeting specific sound like she doesn't want to take them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I do want to take them. If we're going to raise some money for me to buy them, I'm all open for that. I don't care about that. That's easy. <laughs> that part. If all I had to do was take the supplements instead of just eating right, oh, I'd be cash money. Hey, on, hey I'm going to just keep it a buck with you. Y'all, the Lord better not ever let a day come where well, I could do some stuff like that and people could still eat how they want to without detox symptoms. Child, look. Y'all, Y'all ain't never got to worry about Coach Brown again. I'm going to literally come on TikTok and be like, here you go. Throw that thing at the screen and log off. Yeah, I mean, it, the supplements ain't the problem. Not I'm that I don't, I don't I think that was, yeah, me and you had talked about it. When did EBT started doing, um, started doing, uh, you can do, like, fruits and vegetables and, like, uh, like the, in the plants, like, in the garden. Like, when you, that's been a thing? Mm-hmm. For years. I, I never knew that. I never Ever since that. I was on EBT, and that was in my college, my undergrad years. Been. I applied for it when I was at UL, and they gave me a smooth no. They told me N O capital O O O. I don't see why, and I feel like I qualified because uh, in college, I didn't have no job like that. I was broke, and they broke, broke, trying to get by. She said that was news to me too. I know. Whenever I saw that, I didn't. I didn't. That blew my mind. I was like, we can do EBT with gardens and stuff like that. Cause look, I go look. I will go get me. I will go get. I ain't gonna say her name. I'll go get me her card and actually look. I'll even pay you for it and let me go get these dog on. Uh, That's all you gotta do is buy you plant. some stamps. And you don't pay taxes. Some little yampy yams. Some little yampy yams. Oh, there you go. Ooh, I can't wait till I go see the chiropractor. Ball. I'm jacked up right now. And household things. Like what, Shaq? You can buy household stuff with stamps? That's what she's saying? I know. I'm waiting to see what she's saying. I'm ready to see what she's saying because, look, I'm going to grab that card and get me a little yappy yap action going on. Da, 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 da. Oh, also, thank you for sending them photos for the thumbnail. California. Oh, they're not not here, huh? Cleaning products, etc. Not here. Oh, 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 about that. I didn't. I didn't know about that. That must be. That must be a thing. Only stuff with nutritional facts. Oh, yeah. 
What else I was about to say? Oh, them Beatles is going crazy in my window right now. Look at them June bugs. Any other questions you got, Ava? Or anybody else up in here? Um, I think I'm finished with my questions. I just am considering my vacation. And I just feel like I should, like now, I just feel like I should have waited until after vacation to even do this. Well, no, I'm I'm actually glad you started now because, like, you get to, because you got to think about it, there's going to be other vacations to come. Granny, you're going to be in a different mindset around that time. But I remember, like, oh, that's all I'm about to talk about. Um, I remember whenever I first started, like, really, really doing, somebody say, Ava, no, Shaq say, Ava's my spirit <laughs> animal. <laughs> I remember whenever I did, I went on, like, my first big tour. I, we hit Louisiana and we hit every state going northeast, all the way up to New York and back. And every stop them dudes went to was like Five Guys and like um, the gas stations, all of that type of stuff. So I I was the one saying, "Hey, let's stop at these Trader Joe's, let's stop at the Whole Foods." And I when I tell you, I was trying to eat as clean as possible. But when we got to New York, I there was nothing around us, and the, and like the nearest thing that I, that I could get was like. 30, 40 miles out, and we had shows, and everybody was tired. Ain't nobody, the driver wasn't driving like that. And I'm not on nobody insurance, so I'm not about to sit there in that big old sprinter like that and try to push that thing through no New York. But um, we was out there, child, and I, I was doing so good. I was doing so doggone good. And then whenever I crashed out in New York, and, like, I had to just eat whatever they, they had brought back in, child, I was on that. I don't know how I made it through that show. I, that's the day I had played with Mariah Carey's uh, vocal arranger. Uh, she was over there. Well, vocal producer and arranger. She was over there, and I played a uh, bass for her. And then me and I had a nice. We still friends. Me and I had a nice fire talk after that. Um, but like when I got back to the hotel room after that, I don't, bro, I don't know how my body held it through. But when I tell you, my body was like, "Get this out of us right now!" And I just had to, child, had to just see it through. And then on the way back is whenever I went back into the same system, and I was just like, "Never again, never again." It's just like you like it's just no, it's a big no. And especially what I'm doing right now, I can only imagine. I think either I was talking with you, who I was talking to about this. I don't remember. But like I know Sunday, I think I was talking with you about this. Like Sunday is uh Father's it's Father's Day. And they're gonna be having all this food and stuff over there, and I'm gonna just be sitting over there with my bag of grapes if I continue to go past Friday, because look, look. <laughs> she said, Don't be my city ratchet. Shaq, where you from? I feel like Shaq been told us before, and we just don't know. Ooh, child. Giving up meeting Kyle Derry was one of the best things I've done for myself. Marigold. Oh, she from Tennessee. I was in Tennessee, too. We had hit that spot. Marigold. Can I go live with Marigold? She's, no, she don't have a love. Dang. She almost there, too. Share your sparkle. What does that mean, Marigold? Marigold. Share your sparkle. I'm up the street from y'all. You ain't no up the street. Child, we in uh Louisiana. Shoot, you about like a like an hour or two away from us as far as time. I don't know what she's talking about. And in case y'all didn't know, for all the people that's been asking me whenever we've been talking about the uh well, I responded to uh people want to know how parasites are linked to HSV and things of that nature. So if y'all haven't seen that video, if y'all haven't liked that video, if y'all haven't even tried to go do the correlation go watch that video i cited all of my work all the articles you can literally google it and it pops up all the other books i looked up and everything like that they're free all you have to do is download the full book now granted it's it's a huge book but i mean if y'all want the information that bad just like i needed to go through it i got to chapter 68 whenever the book really opened up and then like just go just go read it for yourself and go because like I oftentimes try to tell people the correlation between the two, but it's so weird. And you know what's crazy? The last time we went viral with this video, I didn't really um I, I didn't really handle it the best. I'll say that. I didn't I didn't really handle it the best. But like now that I'm doing it the way I'm doing now and I have a way better mental state about it. You know they got the trolls, you got the people that that they don't that don't believe and do this, that and the third. They saying what they're saying, but it doesn't affect me because I'm standing on a lot. Not only am I standing on a lot more knowledge now, but it's like I honestly and genuinely just don't care anymore because the last time we went viral, that stuff messed with me. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. It had messed with me. But now I'm at a place where it's like the same way y'all can look away at racism, the same way y'all can look away at all these other stuff that y'all got going on. Look, If y'all don't agree to that in the third, go look away 
go go keep scrolling because while we trying to heal people over here and while we trying to do what's right over here and actually inform people because like yeah think about it the reason why holistic medicine is not as prevalent out here as it should be is because it goes against their market it goes against what they've been teaching people and teaching us throughout god knows how long you know, but then when we start talking about herbs and we start talking about what they like to say, botanicals and fruits and high volumes and this, that, and the third, all of a sudden, this is a problem, that a problem, we a problem, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is, oh, this is wrong, but if you got this coming out, you need to go actually go to the hospital. Something's wrong. It's like, y'all don't even give us the time of day to explain it. Y'all don't even give us the time. Y'all don't even go look at the stuff that we tell y'all to go look at. Y'all don't even really think about it with common sense, but that's why I'm here. And I'm glad I'm in the middle space now to where it's like, that stuff doesn't bother me no more, but at the same time, I'm going to take those moments to educate. I'm going to take those moments to make sure that I'm pushing the memo out to people. And that's another thing, too. Whatever I learn, and as I learn it, y'all going to learn it, too. But whatever I'm wrong at, I have no problem going back and saying I was wrong, but also showing you how I was wrong and what's actually right. And here's the thing. I cite everything. You want you want to know where I got it from? I'll cite it for you if you don't feel like doing the research. Because the same way I could take all these years to go get these books and study all of this, and go look at this web trial and this procedure and how they do this and why is that and study the chart and reflexology, blah, blah, blah. Y'all can do the same. But the reason the reason why we're doing what we're doing and I'm doing what I'm doing and it's so convenient is because I took the time throughout the past years to do that. So just because it's new to somebody else or you don't agree with it doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. You can just go do your research first or try to disprove it before making those objections. But, you know, I digress. I just have to say that. Because that made me think about what old dude had said earlier, and I was like, you know, the old me would have been heated. I probably would have deleted the comment, but not no more. I told Chelsea, I said, we ain't deleting nothing. Let them TikTok go see, oh, interaction. Push the video more, and we're going to push it. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know, I'm going to have to squash a troll real quick. Uh-huh. But if y'all ain't got no more questions, I'm about to uh, I'm about to get off. We've been on here since law. We've been on here since like 7:45. I want to say, was it 7:45 or 8:45? It was 7:45. Don't die, Ava. I'm not. All right, I'm not seeing no more questions. All right, y'all, we're gonna be out. What do you say? What do you say? What? Just you can see it, Shaq. Go to um. No, I'm not even gonna see. No, nah, I'm not even gonna do that. If you see, you see it. If you don't, you don't. I'm not about to. I'm not gonna do that because that's that's so in the seat of Discord. But um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now you want to bring Jesus into this? Yeah, I don't think that's Jesus talk. I think that's just you read with your soul. Um, what I was about to say. I was about to, oh yeah, yeah, we about to we about to get on this thing. Y'all have a good one. I know for sure, being that I'm training Miss Wallace differently now. And I think I'll have a better signal. I might be able to start going live during our workouts to where y'all can kind of see some of the workouts. Being that we, uh, I kind of been training at my house lately because she had something happen and, you know, she's in town now. But for the time that she is here and if she allows, she's okay with it. I'm definitely going to give y'all that, that side and that information. Because a lot of y'all haven't seen me, like, train somebody, train somebody, and how meticulous I am. And also, y'all haven't seen me train with somebody. Because I'm one of those trainers to where it's like, if I have the energy and if I haven't worked out yet, I'm going to work out with you. I'm going to work out with you every single time. But you know, that's not every single day, but the days that I can. But other than that, y'all have a good one. It was nice talking to y'all. Shout out to Ava. Thank you for coming yet again. And also the video that, um, the discussion that Ava and I had the other day should be up tomorrow, I want to say, because I still have, God, I still got some more editing to do with the other videos for the app, which comes out next month. And, um, I think that's it. So y'all make sure y'all eat y'all fruits. Y'all eat y'all vegetables. Y'all drink a lot of water. Y'all make sure y'all hit that follow button, hit that share button. Tell your friends about me. Tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, everybody. Tell them about Coach Brian and how you can get y'all fine inside and out. But we out of this thing.